Okay, next we're going to be talking about the adrenal medulla and catecholamines. And remember that this is not a part of the hypothalamic pituitary axis. So the direct stimulus is the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The indirect stimulus is an anoxia, cold, hyperglycemia, hypertension, exercise, and stress. So that stimulates the adrenal medulla, which is the innermost part of the adrenal gland. And um, we're going to be talking about chromaffin cells, which, we, which make catecholamines that we're going to be talking about, the norepinephrine and the epinephrine. These two are amino acids, they're amines, and so they're hydrophilic and lipophobic. So they um, use CAMP. They are regulated by the release of acetylcholine. So the more acetylcholine um, that is released, the more catecholamines are going to be released. Okay, so how is it made? How, like, how are these made? Um, it's made by tyrosine, which is an amino acid, and 80% um, is epinephrine, 20% is norepinephrine, and it is released to the target tissue by exocytosis, and uh, the target tissue is liver, adipose tissue, and skeletal muscle, and make sure that you go and you read like all the details that um, are described in the notes about that. Pathology, um, if usually there's like tumors in the chromaffin cells, so that causes a hypersecretion of epinephrine, which causes pheochromomocytoma, myositoma, mm -hmm. and so that's the pathology, and that's it.